Hello brothers, sisters, how are you? Uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, in today's lesson, uh, I want to back come back to uh, Robert Tutorials uh, because um, for a long time I didn't make any uh, tutorials for any other programs, uh, special uh, only. I did uh, only some advanced tutorials on uh, advanced steel program, which uh, uh, really is a very g a great program that we can use it, and it's very uh, it's very useful for all uh, engineers. Okay, and so uh, let me uh, talk about my topic today uh, my topic uh, today is how we can calculate cut and fill uh, uh, with a Revit program okay first of all uh, I will uh, make create a new project so from new from the projects new and uh, project uh, I will uh, choose construction template and just click okay so that's very good uh, before everything, before I start, I want to change the um, length or the unit to meter because, uh, as we know, uh, and to this month, uh, because as we know, uh, cut and fold, it can it cannot be uh, with millimeter, cubic millimeter or cubic centimeter, okay? Because it's uh, special. Um, usually, it's large amount. So, uh, let's say okay and okay, even. Uh, because we are we have cut and fill on site so what I have to do I have to go to massing and site uh, however however I'm um, in the uh, massing and site tab but I have to use uh, topo surface so I have to I have to make a topo surface to to uh, know uh, the amount of cut and fill that I have so just click here as you see it gives me uh, this uh, warning message because I will, uh, I'm not here on site, so I will go to uh, site here. Uh, I can place pointers, okay? By placing pointers, as you see here, the elevation, let's say we have one meter, uh, we can uh, put some pointers. After that, we have two meter, something like this. After that, we have uh, three meter. It's up to you, okay? Just like this. Uh, after that, let's say we have 1.3, one click here, one click here. As you see, it, it will make a, a top of uh, surface for us. Just click finish. Let me see what I did. Uh, fine and shade it. As you see, this is our, our uh, side that we created. Okay. But uh, for today, I want to show you uh, something else. So just uh, go to edit surface. I want to delete everything that I created before. I want to bring uh, points from uh, uh, points. Why? Because uh, usually we have we uh, we make a survey for the land that we have, and after that, by the total, we make some points. So. <laughs> I want to show you that I uh, created two group of points. It's a very simple, uh, just for uh, checking later. So we can check this one. This is the uh, four points that I have in meter. And this one also, I have some pointers uh, for the land. Okay. Okay. So what I have to do, I will bring, I will bring, maybe, uh, by the way, maybe I don't use uh, one of them. Okay. Maybe I don't use this one. It's up to me. Uh, anyhow. So I consider that I have a land, so I will bring uh, all. Uh, I have a points, so I will bring uh, from um, point um, create from point uh, import import. Sorry, uh, create from from import. We have a specified point file, and we can bring uh, CSV files or comma delimited text. So I have this one. So I will choose uh, this uh, point files. If you uh, if I show you this is the file that I have okay so just click open and emitters okay as you see we have uh, this one what is this point uh, if you uh, 
go back to the video i didn't delete this uh, this one so i'll delete this one and i, I consider that, that i have only this four pointers so just click okay or you can just specify the the elevation of this anyhow go to and uh, click finish that's very good uh, and after we we make a toposphere just click here and from the face created let's say this is the an existing site that we have and for uh, for the face demolish, uh, demolished uh, we want to make a new construction so just click apply okay so now we cut uh, half uh, of the way so uh, for, for calculating uh, cut, and fire, uh, cut and fill we have to make a graded region as you see here we have to make a graded region so I will, uh, uh, it gives me two options create new toposphere exactly like the existing one I, also I can uh, make a make a graded toposphere just like this or I can create a new toposphere based on the perimeter points only okay so I will choose this one for uh, this tutorial and just click it that's very good and just click OK. OK. So that's very, very good. What can I can do now? I can just click here and mark them. Let's say uh, number one. I don't know if we move a little bit here. And this one, let's say number two. So as to be clear for uh, later stages to know the marks and the um, uh, cut and fill amount okay now I consider that I have a building on this area I consider that I have a building on this area as you see if you look uh, like this you see when you have a toposphere like a, um, a hill or a, you want to cut a straight so what I want I want to make a building path but for everything I want to go to top view so as to be uh, see the exact uh, dimension that they have so building pad I can uh, use uh, what type of uh, uh, line is rectangles whatever I want but I will uh, because I want to check with you this one so I will uh, use the rectangles let's say um, we make a rectangle after that uh, cancel two times and just click here change this one to two meters maybe two meter by two meter so we, it will be uh, easy for us for checking later okay just click ok and after that go to 3d view or we are already on 3d view okay as you see here again i will uh, select this one and mark them uh, let's say excavation let's name it excavation and also we have this time and this let's say this foundation okay for marking let's say foundation okay for the foundation uh, i'm going to uh, put uh, a regular number so i just click this one and uh, as you see here a part so go to edit type let's say we have 0.5 so its volume will be now will be one watch it again as is here this uh, sorry two because two by two is four uh, times 0.5 it means two so we have two cubic meter for part and what about this one for about what about this one well, what we have we have uh, cut six cubic meter okay so what we have to do now what we have to do now we see now go to schedules right click uh, new schedule quantities and go to the last one or before uh, uh, this one not the last one topography and i uh, want to uh, no cut and fill and mark also i want to uh, show a net cut fill mark to be the first one so i'll just go move it up and click OK okay so now what we have we have the ex excavation is six meter 
guys this is here excavation we have six meter okay let me just make this one like this okay uh, what I want now I can just uh, move this cup to somewhere else let's say the offset from the height let's say minus one meter as you see now and the quantity changed 10 cubic meter okay so let's try or let's check here we have uh, this section I want to uh, put a section here so go to view make a section uh, for this uh, subject area we know uh, as we know we uh, we create two by two so it's four meter uh, how about the height we see we see the height and let me change this one we have to see all the height here okay so this is the, the existing uh, earth we have and this is the part and uh, this is the excavation as we we name it before okay so <coughs> this excavation let's see the high uh, see the height uh, and on eight and let's see from uh, don't know if we can select yeah this one to this area or I don't know why this point five cancel it cancel it again and about forgetting a uh, rabbit uh, we have one meter as you see yeah so we have one meter and uh, above ground and we have also one meter underground and we will check this one uh, we go to on it this one to this one this, as you see it's 1.5 you see guys this is 1.5 and we have one meter here so We have 2.5 2.5 times 4 it's 10 cubic meter the height the total height is if we calculate the total height is 2.5 as you see so we have 2.5 times 4 which is the projection area so we have two, uh, 10 cubic meter go to go back to the schedules yeah we have 10 cubic meter here yeah if yeah, this one is zero we can we can not uh, we can neglect okay no problem okay we consider that uh, now we will uh, consider that if we change the, the this building path how it could be okay is it it will change everything or not we see it is boundary from uh, let's say to uh, top view this as we said two no now for now we say three by maybe four it should be inside this this area okay just click it okay okay so three by four twelve it means twelve times two point five it should be thirty uh, cubic meter let's go back to the schedule yeah we have 30 by the way what we have we have 30 cubic meter cut as you see we have 30 cubic meter cut and we don't have any fill why because our uh, let me go back here because our uh, foundation our foundation so okay guys as you see I have uh, this one uh, minus 0.1 and I have this one one meter so just click here and i will say i have an offset 1.5 for this time it should be i have a six meter cut uh, fill not cut okay in this case as you see in this case i have to have six kilometer uh, for, sorry for what 
yeah because yeah because uh, this one is the 50 so I set 1.5 so I have uh, my foundation is on the ground let me uh, change this one to 2 meter for this case I have a uh, fill see I have fill 6 meter I have fill 6 meter uh, and this is the, the, the cut uh, why I use these uh, regular areas uh, so st just so for checking I want to check with you uh, for example let's say I have 5 meter above, above the ground that I have I have 5 here uh, already this level is, is 1 meter so I have 4 meter 4 12 uh, times the projection area the projection area of this one is 12 uh, meter as you see here 12 meter so 12 by 4 and now I have 48 cubic meter uh, fill what's the problem let me see this one how much the, how much the height uh, from the section that I made where's that one anyhow no problem I will make another section we see Go to view. Just go to side. Yeah, we have this section, and after that, I want to see everything. So this is the from level two. We have three point five. We have. 3.5 or 4.5 yeah we have 3.5 okay 3.5 so we have 4 there is something that I didn't, I didn't, I don't know let me check it first yeah uh, this is the, the problem. The problem was that here yeah, is um, this excavation. It uh, calculates the excavation because uh, when we became uh, over for excavation, it will calculate this one. Okay, for excavation, it will calculate the foundation. But for fill, it uh, it will uh, uh, calculate until the underneath of the foundation. So we have three point five. Not 4.5, okay? This 0.5 uh, will not be filled or, or, or it will be filled with concrete. So it will not uh, uh, calculate this one. So 3.5 times 12, it means uh, 42, okay? 42. So this is uh, the, the only uh, thing for today. If you have any question, you can uh, ask me from Revit Tutorials, Advanced Studio Tutorials, 3D Max, or any other programs that I uh, put it on my page, uh, the programs that I know, or um, on my YouTube channel. But please don't forget to uh, check, uh, to share this video, uh, like this video, and subscribe this video. Uh, guys, we are always uh, making videos and wasting our time uh, special is not ways, but uh, we are uh, making these times uh, so by liking and uh, sharing these videos it uh, it will be very helpful for me because uh, of uh, YouTube uh, algorithm thank you uh, very much